Yeah. Sunny and Claire. When you stayed at Silver Sands Villas on Fort Myers Beach, you were family. You see the same people every year. They all come back. You all get to reconnect. The pool area and the tiki hut by the pool was always filled with people. Regular guests like Bruce and Alan know the whole staff by name. Andre and Sandy and Dawn and Jen and Javier and Mike. I mean, you can just go on and on about the, the, how caring they are. When Hurricane Ian intensified and barreled right toward Fort Myers Beach, that tight-knit bond didn't waver. I had two people that couldn't get a flight out, and one was from the Miami area. Owner Andrea Carrier saw the island was in for a direct hit and went rushing back. And they said, no, it's 100 years old. It's made it through all of them. You know, we'll be all right. And I said, you don't understand. Get your things. We're going. And so they came and stayed the night at my house. And, uh, you know, and it was wicked at my house. And you saved those people. Yeah. Yep. Well, they're family, you know? It's what you do. You take them in. Andrea has owned Silver Sands for 25 years. She stayed strong through tough times, like the loss of her husband. He passed away two and a half years ago. And, uh, you know, then we got COVID and then this. So I got the trifecta. Um, but God's got a wicked sense of humor sometimes. But uh, we'll, ma we'll make it through. I mean, we, we have no option. The guests were right. The place had made it through major storms before. And it was the oldest hotel on the island, and it was 101 in September. I couldn't help but think about that. You had just celebrated I know. 100 years. No shoes, no but Ian showed no mercy. This was the main building. Um, yeah, not a lot left of it. Now, among all the rubble, all that's left is the pool and the big tree toward the back. I mean, adorable little villas, little cottages, and the hot dog stand. It was the epitome of old Florida. Oh, look, that antique headboard made it. Nice. And who knows where all of this even ended up? Is that one of your cottages, or is that? No, that, no? Was, the, that was the cottage that was behind the beach whale. Even among all the destruction, Andrea feels grateful. Thank God everybody that I know uh, lived through it. There were a lot of people that lost their lives, which is just horrible. She did lose her livelihood. This is my baby. And uh, first time in my life I've been unemployed <laughs> since I was 14. And I know it's probably way too early to tell, but just when you picture the rebuild of Fort Myers Beach, I mean, do you think it can be similar to the Fort Myers Beach we knew? It's just going to be higher. It's going to be a lot higher. You know, it depends on what the insurance is going to pay if I can afford to rebuild. I mean, my, my plans are to rebuild. The building codes are a good thing, so going forward, you know, we'll have something that's, I, I'm not gonna say bulletproof, but at least a little bit more, you know, damage proof than this. Old Florida feel, just a little sturdier? I mean, yes, old Florida feel just a little sturdier. I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of the cottages up on little stilts. That's and, what I was uh, hoping. I mean, and a nice big tiki hut in the middle.